Welcome to the Noob's Guide to Grotesque Guardians by a Noob. I'm the Noob. For requirements, we're going to need 75 Slayer, a Rock Hammer, and a Range and Mage setup. You're also going to need a Slayer task, so you want your Slayer Helm. By default, everything else can be up to you. I obviously recommend better gear. Um, I've got my Defender to save on switches, but apart from that, Diamond Bolt C. Anguish, all carols, assembler, rune crossbow because that's the best I've got to save on switches again. Primordial boots, I haven't got rangers, uh, beat ring imbued, barrows gloves. And for my melee switch, just a four way switch, nice and simple. Fury, Zami has to because it's a good crush weapon. I've seen people use 10 whips, but I don't want to use my charges. Tacits, and a fight also for the strength bonus and defense. Food. Prayer potions, super combat, and a ranging potion. The extra damage really, really does help. Um, the fight's easy. It just becomes much easier and really quite AFK if you've got the extra damage. So although you can do this with, say, 70 combat stats, if you've got 90 plus and you're on task, obviously, and you've got super combat and a ranging potion, this, this is really, really, really easy. I'll show you a kill without potting up to show you that it can be done and it is quite simple. And then I'm going to show you the difference with the second kill when I potted up and I'm using Piety and Eagle Eye just to show you how much of a difference it makes. So before we go, make sure we got a rock hammer and to get there I use my quest point cape to teleport to a fairy ring. Go to the fairy ring with my drama staff on and go to CKS which is Canifis. Run north, up towards the Slayer Tower, and you're going to want to start with a range setup on. Now, to get into the gate to where the Gerakes Guardians are, the names of which is Dusk and Dawn, which is quite cool, you're going to need a Brittle Key. And a Brittle Key is dropped by regular gargoyles at 1 in 150. So by this point, you've most likely already got it. If you didn't pick it up or you haven't got it, you're going to have to kill a few normal gargoyles before you get your brittle key so that you can actually get onto the rooftop where the grotesque guardians are. So you go in through this gate here. This gate will be closed until you use a brittle key on it and then it's open permanently. When you go in the fight won't start so don't worry and go in and have a look around. So this is the rooftop. That's dusk and that's dawn. That's where they come from. It's pretty cool. And you want to mark some tiles before we start the fight. You want to mark this tile here, that tile there, and that tile there. So it's one, two, I'll show you. It's one, two, three, four tiles over, and it's a square. So we don't need these ones. They're the ones you want to have marked. Now, if it's your first five kills, your only option is going to be ring. Not, you won't have the quick start option, which isn't a big deal. After five, you've got it. So, I'm not going to pot up for this first kill. I'm not going to use Eagle Eye or Piety. I'm just going to pray my protection prayers and go through the kill. I'll show you what the ring option looks like as well. So to start the fight, just click on the bell. And it begins. Now at the start of the fight, you want to pray range. So somewhere towards the end of the animation, click on Dawn and run up onto the top tile. Anywhere around here is fine, but I like this one. As soon as he hits you, as soon as Dusk hits you, run to that corner tile. And then he's going to get stuck, so because we're not praying melee, we'll take less damage from him. He can very rarely, not very rarely, he can get unstuck like that. So you run away from him and then back to that tile. And he gets stuck again. He doesn't hit you very often, especially in the gear that I'm in with my defense level. But if he did hit you, just eat some food. Not a big deal. And then he basically runs around like a headless chicken while you kill his missus. And gets some stuck. You get scared. You run away. Run back onto your tile. And you're safe again. When Dawn gets to 55% HP, like that, she's going to turn away. And you want to pray melee with your melee gear and start beating up her fella. Hit him three times, and then run away from him. Otherwise, that yellow ball is going to smash you into a wall and do about 30 damage. After the yellow's gone, start attacking him again. 
same crack with this guy. You need to get him down to 55% HP and his misses will come back. Watch out for these. Two squares away from anything you see while you're killing these bosses. None of them damage too much. But if you stand away from them, you won't take any damage. Now, keep melee prayer on, surprisingly, but swap back to your range gear. Don't stand on those, because they will damage you every tick. As soon as they go away. Back over there. Stand within one square of it, if you can. If you're not sure where that is, after you pick up these balls. Because these balls, if you don't pick them up, will heal up for 90. So, start attacking her. Hold shift, right click dawn, and tag all. That's her hitbox, so you can stand at one square outside her hitbox and she will melee you sometimes as well, which means you take much less damage. Don't worry about them stacking up. Again, they don't do too much damage. Not a big deal. Drink a prayer potion if you need to. This part of the fight, we take her all the way down and if you've got the perk from the Slayer Master, you'll automatically hit her with a rock hammer. If you don't, you're going to have to click on your rock hammer and click on her, and then she'll die like that. Once that phase is over, back into your melee gear, because we're going to kill this guy. He's going to shoot you into a square of flames. Walk outside of the square of flames and start killing him. It's that easy. And now this is going to take us all the way down. He can range or melee now. This attack is range, so you pray range, and he's most likely to do that one again. So we'll do a few in a row, but if he melees you like that, put melee on and he'll do a few melees in a row there's no rhyme or reason he's just most likely to use the attack he just used but just keep on top of it he won't damage you a lot once that's done that's the fight really is that easy i didn't eat any food as you can see the loot's pretty good i had one dose of prayer pot you can be here for a long time obviously you do like to top up before each kill. So technically I use two doses of prayer pots and two food. And the loot's that good, you end up leaving it on the floor. It's an instance, so the loot won't disappear. So don't worry about leaving it. You can just pick it up before you leave, after you've used all your food or whatever, and you've got space in your inventory. Now, I'm going to show you a second kill with the kill speed difference. That kill was... That was my 20th kill, and it was 3 minutes and 8 seconds. Now I'm going to pot up and pray correctly. I'm going to show you how much quicker it is.
Well, look at that. Not bad two drops in a row, that. But second kill was 245, and that was a relatively slow kill as well. So that, without trying, just the extra potions and praying right, it was 23 seconds faster, and that was slow. I can get it down to 230 on average if I'm doing exactly what I've just done. So it saves you a lot of time, increases your kills per hour by 20%. So worth doing, definitely worth bringing pots, but just to show you that if you don't have them or want to use them, you don't need to use them. Really, really easy boss this. Absolutely recommend doing it while you're on a Slayer task for gargoyles. Even if you don't want to kill loads and loads of gargoyles and you just do one or two of these guys, or 10 or 20, you can get one of the challenges is a massive challenge to kill I think 10 or 20 without leaving i did it first attempt yesterday so not bad at all just bring some brews um, but there's a lot of combat tasks here so absolutely get yourself here for at least tw 10 or 20 kills get those combat tasks out of the way but yeah hope that guide helps guys uh, if the guide did help please like the video if you want to see more guides like this consider subscribing i'll be back in the future comment down below what you want to see next see you later